Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Joe Thatcher. I'm with Midwest Military Equipment out of Washington, Missouri. Uh, today, we're going to be demonstrating how to install our four-man aluminum hardtop kit with our hard rear wall. Uh, first thing that you're going to do, this truck, we've already stripped a lot of the accessories off of it, so there's going to be some stuff that uh, is already removed on this truck, but I'm going to walk you through what needs to come off and what needs to stay. So starting with the front of the vehicle, your factory windshield retainers are going to be removed and discarded. You no longer need the factory windshield retainers. We provide you new ones in the kit. Uh, moving to the back, if you have a soft top kit, whether it be a two man or four man, all of your soft top bows and substructure needs to be removed from the vehicle. So that includes your front weather strip where the top actually slides in and slides off of the roof, uh, along with your crossover bowls that keep water uh, from the top dragging down on your soft tops. Uh, your factory C pillar needs to be removed. This is actually our custom built C pillar that comes with the top kit. Uh, so whether you have a two-door truck or a four-door truck, we provide you everything in the kit to convert that truck from a two-door to a four-man. Um, with this C-pillar, it actually sits in this, almost to the same location. If you look here closely, you can see the edge on where your C-pillar meets the body. We want this radius to be nice and tight like it is there. Your factory B-pillar, you will need to remove the bolts holding the B-pillar. We've already done it on this one, but we've shortened this B-pillar. You take and you cut a half inch off of the B pillar itself, redrill your holes and reinstall it. For modifications on the B pillar, that is it that you have to do to install this top. On the A pillar, you do not have to do anything to it except drill holes in the top of it to mount the roof, which we'll show you later on in this video. All right, so we're going to start at the back of the truck. Got to go through some of the hardware. These are our front filler pieces for the windshield frame. These follow the contour of the factory windshield frame to the same contour as our roof, so you don't have any openings in the corner of the roof. These are our new windshield retainers that replace the factory windshield retainers. We also provide you with a center retainer. It is the same as a stock retainer, so if for some reason you want to use your stock one, you're more than happy to, but we do give you a new one in the kit. So as you can see here, we've set the roof on the vehicle. Uh, we have all of our holes pre-punched in the roof for both our rain guards and our A pillar, which is your front windshield frame. Our B pillar has already got pre-done hole placement in it, so you know where to drill your holes to order to mount the roof. And then our C pillar already has the rivet nuts installed on it. And the rivet nuts are what's going to attach your rear wall and your roof to the vehicle itself on both your C, B, and A pillar. Uh, these rivet nuts are quarter 20 thread pitch. Uh, the bolts thread right into them. We're going to demonstrate uh, later on in the video on how you actually install the rivet nuts into the roof and how you drill and mark your holes. A big thing is on these roof kits, Humvees are built on what I like to call a quarter inch rule, where everything's a little bit off on the bodies. Not everybody is the same. So with that, it is very important whenever you're installing, whether it be our two-man top kit, our four-man top kit, um, or any other accessories, including doors on the Humvee, uh, fitment is very, very key on getting the roof square to the vehicle and making sure that your A pillar, because this is simply attached by pins here, which do have some flex in them. Sometimes on certain vehicles, you actually might have to end up running a strap from your B pillar up to your A pillar and tensioning that down to be able to get this distance here square. Um, if you're running into issues with fitment or anything like that, uh, it's more than likely in your A and B pillar is where you're running into your issues because these do flex and that if you do not have these bolts tightened here, a quarter inch on the top translates to a lot when it gets down here to your doors fitting and everything else. It also transfers to the front where your windshield retainers actually meet this top leading edge of the roof itself to make that seal. So what I highly recommend to customers is whenever you're installing our roof kit, get everything on there, bolt it down, but do not tighten everything. Test fit your windshield retainers, test fit your roof, test fit your rear wall, and then go ahead and start working through and tightening everything down. But to get the best fit and finish, that's the only way to do it. All right, these are our A pillar filler pieces. It takes two to raise the front. The whole thing about the, uh, the Humvee is, is the roof actually slopes, and you want that so water is able to run off the top of the roof. Any roof that doesn't slope, and how we get that distance, that added distance across our A pillar, is these two filler pieces. As you can see, they've already got pre-slotted holes in them uh, for adjustment side to side. So these will need to be installed above the A pillar to actually space the roof up. Uh, when installing those, it's always good. You do that after you've drilled your holes and put in your insert nuts on here. 
Um, we're going to go through and we're going to talk about how to install the rear wall now. If you guys want to go ahead and put the rear wall up there. As you can see, it has the pre-done rivet nuts in the C-pillar where your bolt holes line up with the rear wall itself. This is actually our rear wall filler piece. This goes and makes up the ribs and the floor of the bed if we want to go around to the inside. I tell customers to always put them on the inside edge. And it sits right down there, follows the contour of the floor itself. And then this gets pop riveted and installed, which we do include rivets in the kit. We're gonna next go ahead and throw some bolts in here and then show you on how to install the rivet nuts. All right, so I'm up on top of the vehicle now. We've got the roof on here. We've got the rear wall here. We've got the C-pillar installed with just two bolts. It's loose, nothing's tight yet. As you can see, we've already got our rivet nuts and our C-pillar to be able to line up and screw in our bolts. Now I wanna talk about the bolts. The bolts, we actually give you a panel washer that has a seal on it. It is very important that the seal goes down on the bolt. These washers help seal the roof, and if you ever want to take the roof off in the future, it still allows the roof to be removable. Um, as you can see, we're going to go ahead and we're going to mark our holes for our rivet nuts and our pre-done holes in our roof for the B pillar. We're going to repeat on the A pillar on the front of the vehicle. After you get those done, you can go ahead and remove the roof and we're gonna go ahead and drill the holes out for the size for the rivet nuts. And then we're gonna install the rivet nuts there and I'm gonna show you next on how to install a rivet nut. All right, so what I'm gonna demonstrate next is the installation of the rivet nuts. We've got a piece of just scrap aluminum here that we've drilled on size for the rivet nuts. Um, so that way we're not up on top of the truck trying to explain to you how to put the rivet nuts in. Uh, rivet nut tool, they're a very simple tool to use. You can buy them on Amazon. Most auto parts stores sells them. Uh, the rivet nuts themselves that we provide in the kit, as I said before, they are quarter 20 rivet nut. This allows us on our A, B, and C pillar to just simply thread the bolt right on. So what you're going to do is you're going to drill your hole out for the rivet nut size, install the rivet nut into the panel. You're going to take your rivet nut tool, thread it into the rivet nut, and then go ahead and pull this tight. I always like to just hit them twice just to make sure that they're done. Unthread this out. And now you've got pre-threaded quarter 20 insert ready to install the roof. So we've got the roof all bolted down. The next step is going to be installing the windshield retainers. We actually, a lot of times these trucks are known for the factory screws when you take the windshield retainers off since they are a very small screw breaking off. So we actually changed our hole placement slightly on our windshield retainers and we would provide you with new self-drilling screws in order to mount these. You're gonna make sure that your edges are clean all the way across here so you get the best seal. Um, with that seal, then you're gonna go ahead and tighten down your windshield retainers. Uh, our top is still not tightened down all the way yet as what we like to do is we like to get our retainers on and then draw the roof down to the retainers. Uh, next, I'm gonna be demonstrating how we install the rain guards on the vehicle itself. Uh, the rain guards have got pre-punched holes here, which we'll go over that. So next, I'm gonna be installing the quarter inch thick rain guard on the side of the vehicle. We've already got pre-punched holes in the rain guard itself, along with our pre-punched holes that are in the roof that I showed you earlier on in this video. We're gonna use the same one inch quarter 20 bolt with a quarter 20 nut and two quarter 20 washers to install this on the vehicle. They simply go up onto the side. And you put your nut on your back side and tighten it down. This helps when you put doors on the vehicle. Uh, it gives you an edge where the door can actually seal against and allows rainwater to run off the roof away from the door itself. Also gives it that tough, beefy, up armored look. Uh, the next step I'm going to be showing you, uh, once again, the rear wall seal. Uh, we normally recommend caulking those in, and we're going to show you how to install that. So on the rear wall floor seal, uh, we recommend using some sort of sealant, whether it be a caulk or a seam sealer. You're going to apply the caulk or the seam sealer along this leading edge here, and then along with the edge where the seal meets the rear wall. Uh, we provide you with 3 16 rivets. Uh, you will need a 3 16 drill bit in order to drill these holes and drill the holes in the floor and then the rear wall to be able to pop rivet this rear wall seal in. 
And here is our finished product. This is our eighth inch aluminum hardtop kit. You can see the rain guards are all tightened up. This old truck's been painted to match. We've got the rear wall installed, rear window installed. Our rear wall floor seal is installed in the truck also. All ready to go. So if you want to order your top today or check out more awesome products, give us a call at 636-900-9046 or check us out online at www.midwestmilitaryequipment.com.